Hey everybody, today we're going to read Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse's Picnic. One beautiful summer day, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse decided to go on a picnic. They invited Pluto, Goofy, Daisy Duck, and Clarabelle Cow. They would have invited Donald Duck, but lately Mickey had noticed that something crazy always happened when Donald went along. Mickey wanted the day to be relaxing and quiet. Minnie packed a big, delicious lunch. She and Mickey took the basket outside, where their friends were waiting for them. Then everyone got into Mickey's car. It seems strange to go without Donald Duck, Mickey said as they drove away. Yes, said Minnie, but there's always trouble when Donald comes along. No one noticed that Donald had seen them leave. <laughs> everyone sang happily as Mickey drove. Finally, they reached the picnic grounds. Mickey parked his car on the other side of the on the side of the road. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, everyone, he said. Let's go on a picnic. Mickey and his friends walked until they found a spot beneath a tall tree. Mickey laid Mickey laid down a blanket, and Minnie set out the food she had packed. Yum, Mickey thought. There were peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, hard boiled eggs potato salad, macaroni salad, pink lemonade, and a cake with chocolate frosting. The food looked delicious, but before they ate, Mickey and his friends wanted to have some fun. Minnie wanted to pick flowers, but Daisy Duck wanted to play tag. Clarabelle thought a nap sounded nice. Goofy suggested they go for a swim. Everyone was excited about that, so they left their lunch under the tree and went to a pond. After a while, Mickey and his friends began to get hungry. I think it's time for lunch, Mickey said Mickey. I can't wait to try Minnie's potato salad, Daisy said. Everyone made their way to the grassy spot under the tree. But when they arrived, the food was gone. Oh, Mickey, where did it go? cried Minnie. Well, of course, Goofy said. Oh boy, we'll find it said Mickey. They searched all over the picnic grounds. Mickey looked near a small pond. Goofy searched in a blackberry patch. Minnie and Daisy looked in a meadow, and Clarabelle looked in a small grove of trees. But there was no sign of their lunch. Then they saw Donald Duck walking down the road toward them. He had a fishing pole over one shoulder. A large bundle hung from the end of the pole. I must have missing your soul cut here, said Donald. I can't be so successful. It was so beautiful that they stay at home. Oh, uh, uh, yes, said Mickey. He felt bad because they had left Donald behind. Why are you so crying? Donald asked. We're hunting for a lunch, Mickey said. Lunch, said Donald. Why I have a lunch for all of us and my bundles here? Now everyone felt guilty for not inviting Donald, but they were hungry, so they thanked him and walked back to the grassy spot under the tree. Donald opened his bundle and spread out the food. There were peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, hard-boiled eggs, potato salad, macaroni salad, pink lemonade, and a chocolate cake. The food looked very tasty, but it also looked very familiar. Minnie picked up the cake. Why? This is just like the one I made, she said. Mickey pointed to the knife they had taped to the plate so they'd have something to cut with. Hot dog, he said. That looks like our knife, he said. And that's the lemonade I couldn't wait to drink, Daisy said. Those are the sandwiches I unwrapped, Clarabelle added. Donald, Mickey cried. Where did you get this food? It looks like, it looks just like what we brought. Donald said, We must have had a watch in the same boat. Donald's friends stared at him, hands on their hips. Okay, okay, no food, Donald said after a moment. He looked embarrassed. Oh, sorry, your pictures just look like so much fun. I want you to come on. Now Mickey looked ashamed. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't invite you, he said. But I'm glad you're here now. That's right, Minnie added. Agreed. I agree, Clarabelle chimed. Me too, Goofy added. Daisy nodded. Even Pluto barked. 